You want to guarantee your spot on mom's good list this Mother's Day? Stick around until the end of this video for a special deal on the Mother's Day gift of the year from Aura Frames. Hey, before I get started, I just wanna say thank you. Yesterday I did a video about uh, a vile, violent threat of death and sexual assault against my wife. And uh, I, I, I got hundreds and hundreds of responses, messages, uh, emails, and I wanna thank you. I wanna let you know that some things I can't talk about because there is an active investigation. We did contact the FBI. We did have DC police in the living room for hours yesterday or uh, the day before. And um, I just wanna thank you. I will give you an update when I'm able to, when it's appropriate, uh, but thank you so much for all of your support in uh, what is a very scary thing. Uh, and al aligned with this is the continued threat of violence from Donald Trump and Donald Trump supporters. You may have a question about the particular thumbnail and title that I'm using here about Donald Trump promising violence because he didn't promise violence, but we know Donald Trump well enough. We've been exposed to Donald Trump and his fascistic autocratic ways, his, 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 his winking at violence, his allowing violence We've, we've known it long enough to know that he's not kidding around. It's not a suggestion. It's not, oh, I hope it happens. He directs it. In this Time article that's been going like wildfire because it's a wide-ranging interview with Donald Trump, he as much as says it, that it's what's in the cards. And that's what I want to talk about today. Uh, very briefly, I want to read a couple paragraphs from this, this Time article um, and there's two parts of it. There, I, I'll link it below. You should read the entire thing because it's worth reading. But related to violence, it's like the last three paragraphs of this entire long article with, that, they, that they finally address it. And it's earlier in the article that they talk about pardoning January 6th terrorists, getting the band back together, as it were. First, though, let's read from the very end of the article here about the violence. These obsessions could once again push the nation to the brink of crisis. Trump does not dismiss the possibility of political violence around the election. Quote, if we don't win, you know, it depends, he tells Time. It always depends on the fairness of the election. When I ask what he meant when he baselessly claimed on True Social that a stolen election allows for the termination of all rules, regulations, and articles, even those found in the Constitution. Trump responded by denying he said it, even though we covered it. I went and took screenshots of the posts on Truth Social from my own account. He said it. To deny it is, is bananas not facing reality on reality's terms and allowing his supporters to also deny it. He said it. Um, he then complained about the Biden-inspired court case, blah, 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 en enemies from within, China, Russia, blah, blah, blah. Toward the end of our conversation at Mar-a-Lago, I asked Trump to explain another troubling comment he made, that he wants to be a dictator from day one. Uh, ultimately, he said, uh, oh, I was just kidding. It was just a little JK. This is a problem. Obviously, this is a problem. One, that the media continues to give him the benefit of the doubt that uh, he wouldn't, he didn't rule it out. He didn't, bleh, he hints at it. He's not hinting at it. It's a bullhorn with Donald Trump. It may, it may not be a bullhorn to you and me in, with our ears of how we listen to politicians, but it's a bullhorn to MAGA world. They know what he's saying. It's the stand back and stand by, proud boys. And then only months later, they were standing by at January 6th. They were standing by when they participated in, when they organized, when they planned, when they executed the insurrection against the United States. We know what his words means at this point. He's absolutely promising violence if indeed he loses because it's the only thing between him and a jail cell. And as far as getting the band back together, how is he going to do this? He signals to the people who have already been convicted and are being convicted of their crimes related to the insurrection, related to the attempted overthrow of the United States government. 
He's promising them a pardon, which then signals to others who might have a propensity to violence that, hey, if you do it too, I've got your back too. This is what he said. What emerged in two interviews with Trump and conversations with more than a dozen of his closest advisors and confidants were that outlines of an imperial presidency would reshape America and its role in the world to carry out a deportation operation designed to remove more than 11 million people from the country. Trump told me he would be willing to build migrant detention camps and deploy the United States military both at the border and inland at the border and within the country have the United States military stationed, actively operating. One, I would have Donald Trump and his idiots look up posse comitatus and see what kind of restrictions there are about deploying the military within the, the, the borders of the United States. That, my friends, is unconstitutional. But when asked about pardoning, this is what he said. He is weighing pardons for every one of his supporters accused of attacking the United States Capitol on January 6, 2021. More than 800 of whom have pleaded guilty or been convicted already by a jury. And then they explain as a juxtaposition that he would uh, not back up an ally who was attacked by an adversary of ours even, if he felt that they weren't paying enough for their defense. And then the, he, they go on to explain what kind of a dystopian existence America would become if Donald Trump were president, because he's not ruling out violence. In fact, he is indeed promising it. And the media is failing us left and right again and again, time and time again, by either not asking the right follow-ups, not asking the right questions uh, uh, up front, or uh, synthesizing the information incorrectly. And that's what's taking place over and over and over again. After we've had Donald Trump on our radar as a threat, as a clear and present danger for nearly a decade. His followers are, are violent and he encourages it. He invites them to come and attack the Capitol. You gotta ask the right questions, media. Anyway, what do you think? Uh, I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I'd love to hear from you. I'm still sifting through so many voicemails and messages yesterday of support, and I appreciate that very much. If you want to help support this work, you want to help support this channel, independent media being very important, especially this election cycle, click the join button below, become a channel member for $2 a month. Go to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore. And uh, I'll see you next time. Be genuine, take care of one another, and stick around for a word from today's sponsor. Whether or not it's obvious in your family, Mother's Day is a competition. Who can give the best gift to mom? Don't, don't, don't delude yourself. If you can buy crappy convenience store chocolates again, they will be held against you. <laughs> and it'll be in the court of maternal opinion. Get a leg up on the competition this Mother's Day and give your mom, your wife, your sister an Aura Frame. Aura Frames are beautiful Wi-Fi connected digital picture frames that allow you to share and display unlimited photos. The frames just take a couple of minutes to set up via the Aura app and the displays are meticulously high resolution so mothers in your life will never even think that they're looking at a screen. Right now, Aura has a great deal for Mother's Day. Listeners can save on the perfect gift by visiting AuraFrames.com to get $35 off plus free shipping on their best-selling frame. That's A-U-R-A Frames.com. Use code Dollamore at checkout to save. Aura Frames display in true color and automatically adjust to light levels, so they'll turn off when you turn out the lights to save energy. And they have been featured in more than 130 different gift guides as well. They've been named the number one digital picture frames by the New York Times Wire Cutter, The Strategist, and Wired Magazine. Oh, and the best part, each Aura Frames comes pre-packaged in a premium gift box, so they're already wrapped. Here's a tip for a head start on Mother's Day 2025. What's better than one Aura Frame? Ha <laughs> ha, two. 
Head to AuraFrames.com now to get $35 off their best-selling Carver mat frame plus free shipping. That's A-U-R-A frames.com and use code Dollamore at checkout. Take the prize of son, sibling, or husband of the year by purchasing Aura Frames for the mothers in your life. Terms and conditions apply.